Now, I think it's very fair and reasonable to say here that Deadpool 3, also known as Deadpool and Wolverine, is the one Marvel Cinematic Universe film that Disney is 100% banking on right now and are really just trying to make a profit, at least a decent profit at the box office, so that when 2025 comes, they can point the finger at 2024 and say that they had a success with the Marvel Universe. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So Bob Iger and Kevin Feige, they've really been pushing their usage of DEI for the looming reshoots that are set to begin in just a short number of weeks from now for Deadpool 3, something that Ryan Reynolds, Sean Levy, the director and writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, have been fighting day in and day out, battling against the Disney heads to prevent the third act from getting tainted for Deadpool 3, which would in turn result in a fine film for the first half and then falling off a cliff toward the end. Now, on top of all of this, there's been a lot of drama surrounding performer Taylor Swift, and we'll talk more about this as we go through. She does have some form of involvement in Deadpool 3 and exactly how this is getting entangled with Ryan Reynolds and Bob Iger and all the drama surrounding Deadpool 3. Let's get into it. Now, with that being said, all right, we already know that Bob Iger is one that has been wreaking havoc on the production of Deadpool 3. He is the very reason why there's been a lot of setbacks when it came to the reshoots, which were, by the way, supposed to begin filming by March of this year. That got delayed until May. Thankfully, Ryan Reynolds had more victories than losses when he gave out all those ultimatums and had a lot of people standing by his side, like Hugh Jackman and Sean Levy really kind of speaking volumes against Bob Iger. However, with Bob, of, with of course both Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm that are getting destroyed by Bob Iger, two of the most failed divisions at Disney right now, one major development has much to do with actor Ryan Reynolds and the production of Deadpool 3 and how it now surprisingly connects to Taylor Swift and how Disney recently caused a sudden grudge between both Reynolds and Taylor Swift, who usually have gotten along very well. One major development now has to do with the fact that Taylor Swift recently made some complex demands for her cameo in the third Deadpool film, where she is already beginning to demand the Disney heads to give her the proper role of Lady Deadpool for, of course, the upcoming reshoots that are set to begin by late April leading into late May. Taylor Swift already reportedly shot scenes for a surprise cameo that was already completed connected to a character within the Marvel Universe as it is that is now believed, believed, to be the Dazzler. However, Taylor is demanding to gain a second role slash cameo as one variant of Lady Deadpool. And this is already creating issues for both Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy, the director, since now Bob Iger and Kevin Feige are in full support of Taylor Swift and her involvement for the upcoming reshoots on top of what she had already filmed. Now, part of the contract that Reynolds and crew were forced to sign for Deadpool and Wolverine was that Taylor would have multiple cameos in the film, which is demanded, of course, by Disney and Bob Iger. Bob Iger's push for Taylor Swift's insertion reportedly was enhanced about midway through production that Ryan and Sean Levy heavily disagreed with as they felt their film was becoming too much of an advertisement, not just for various cameos and characters, but also those that are playing the characters, in this case, Taylor Swift, one that is very recognizable among the general public, who is now demanding Disney to not only increase her payout, but to also provide her a second cameo for the looming reshoot and changes to be made for her other cameo as a character within the MCU. The drama surrounding Taylor Swift and her impact on the production of Deadpool 3's reshoots is reportedly causing frustration already as it is. And though Ryan has nothing personal against the performer, professionally there is a divide happening between cast members and crew members and those sided with Swift after her aggressive demands for the film and her cameos. This was also part of Disney's emergency meeting last week on their decision with Swift's demands for Deadpool 3, and they are reportedly reportedly already in the process of providing Taylor the green light to gain a second cameo in the third act of the film from two different universes where she will portray 
two characters that already exist in the Marvel comics. This all comes shortly after Taylor's involvement with her Disney Plus special. She also made demands of portraying herself as Taylor Swift in the real world universe, which will be visited in the first act of Deadpool 3, roughly the first 40 plus minutes of the film. Already both Reynolds and Levy are urging Disney to withdraw from Swift's demands as it will cost them millions of dollars more to alter and or add in new scenes to lead to those characters and portraying herself that she will be playing in the film. Reynolds' wife Blake Lively also has a role in the film that is believed to be another variant of Lady Deadpool. Now guys, let me stop here for one moment. Now, I think that some fans out there, specifically Marvel fans, are not going to like the fact that Disney is shoehorning in Taylor Swift. It was a part of their contract. Ironically, it has nothing to do with their friendship. For those of you that do not know, Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, and Taylor are friends. They know each other well. But when it comes to the production, all right, the professional aspects of this production, there is a divide that is beginning between the three individuals, and it's creating a rift between many different cast and crew members. And look, when you're Taylor Swift demanding to not only gain a second cameo, but to also play yourself in the real world universe segment in the first act of this movie for the looming reshoots that are to be reversed for the third act a little bit, it goes to show you that Taylor really is trying to milk Deadpool 3 for what it's worth. That's what it sounds like to me, at least. She knows how popular this movie is going to be. Whether it's going to have a very bad ending or not, it's going to make money. I'm pretty sure it will make money. Uh, because let's face it, this is a movie that Ryan is trying to defend, trying to really distance itself from DEI getting thrown into the film and unnecessary cameos getting thrown into this movie that's only going to cost millions of dollars more and taking away millions that could be used on the funding for the marketing, all right? the promotion of the film. That's what Reynolds is really getting in a frustration for, right? So on top of this, the very same character that Taylor is aggressively demanding to play from another universe, as she believes, of course, her, what is believed to be her Dazzler cameo, reportedly fell short screen time wise, according to her critique with the Disney Deadpool 3 production. So again, uh, there have been rumblings that she's going to portray the Dazzler uh, specific cameo that was already filmed, and the other cameo that she wants to film for the looming reshoots is one variant of Lady Deadpool, while Blake Lively will be portraying a variant of that character as well. That's basically the word of what's going on with the reshoots and with what has been done already. Now, interestingly enough, we know that Taylor is already associated with Disney. I don't know if you guys knew this. That's why she has a Disney Plus special on there, that concert, and everything related to what Bob Iger is pushing with Swift and getting her involved to make cameos in not just Deadpool 3, but multiple Disney-related movies across the board. And I think that this is very similar to what Bob was doing with Jenna Ortega by just using a film familiar face to kind of gain revenue. This is why Jenna Ortega backed out of the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot, as we discussed a couple of days ago. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later.